Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to look at an old Chima set. It's so old, it's from last year. It's set 30250 EWARS Acro Fighter. Again, a flying creature that needs a vehicle. So, I don't understand Chima. It seems to be quite popular. In fact, some of the reviews for this set are approaching 100,000 views. I don't, don't know... Uh, that's because um, of the reviewer or everybody just wanted to see this set. I mean, there you go. That's what it is. It's a eagle riding a speeder bike or something carrying a chi crystal. And his name's Ewar. And it's 33 pieces. And if you bought it a year ago, you pay too much for it. So anyway, let's open this thing up and see what's in there. All right, there's your parts. 33 parts all spread out. This set has a part out value, as I'm filming this in January 2014, of about $6.50. Most of it is obviously probably Ewar, the Eagle. And I don't see a lot of other great parts. These wedge plates might come in handy in dark blue and white. You got some skis, uh, double cheese slopes. Yellow clips, these usually come in handy, but you only got one in there. Uh, some clips. And that's, that's about it. There's not a lot of those clips, so decent parts. But, um, yeah, it's only um, $6.50, which is not bad for a poly bag if you got it on sale. All right, there's your EWAR. And he does have a double-sided head, which the other side of it is his uh, drunken stupor look, I think. Bloodshot eyes. Sir, have you been drinking? No, I've been flying. Have you been drinking and flying? Of course not, officer. All right, now I'm going to do something rather quite boring. I'm going to build it while I talk to you. And I know all of you have seen this, especially you of your um, big Chima fans. Y'all have probably seen this set. You probably own it. You probably watched Jane Brick's review of it, or you watched Brick Show, one of those dudes. And check out Jane Brick's review of this. You know, he's got um, close to 100,000, if not over 100,000 by the time you go over there and check it. And... Just so you know, you get paid by Google AdSense, uh, by the advertisers that advertise on your video. And it, it's not anything that's concrete about you know how much you'll make. It depends on things like um, do people click on the ads or um, how long do they view the video, things like that. So there's no concrete answer, you know, can you know how much somebody made? But I will tell you that for typical videos that get good views, oh man, I'm, not, I'm building this thing wrong. You get, you can figure if you for every thousand views, it's pr approximately anywhere from a dollar to three dollars. Uh, could be less than a dollar, but usually it's going to be between a dollar to three dollars. And the more popular a video, the higher that number will be, likely. I've got to put these skis on. So, if you take, let's just round up, somebody had 100,000 views on their video. Now oh, i got to put the clips on. I'm skipping a step. I should not skip a step. So if they got 100,000 views, let's just say they're conservative and they're making a dollar for every thousand views. Well, that's a hundred dollars. So you got somebody who did a review for a $4 set, and their video has made $100, but likely it's probably uh, more than that. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, I suspect it's probably more in the $300 range, or it could be even more. 
just depends. So there you go. So that's why your big reviewers will sometimes race to be the first to review a set because that increases the chances of them getting more views. And then they'll make hundreds of dollars on their video and they can afford to buy more Lego. So you kids starting out, I'm giving you some free advice here. Make good videos. Say you're 13 or 14 years old. Well, you're not going to get the views that Jane Briggs or Brick Show or somebody gets. But if you make good videos over time and keep doing that, then eventually people will come to your channel. And then if you start, if you find something that's different that people do, then you might even draw more people. But just keep, don't give up because you don't get the views now. Uh, just keep doing it, and then one day you might be like Jane Bricks and do a little video on a little dinky set like this and make three or four hundred dollars. Again, this is not. This is just my estimate based on okay, how I've perceive things to be, so I could be wrong. But anyway, that's a, a review of Ewar's Acro Fighter. I recommend uh, getting this set if you can find it for about two bucks. Uh, Kmart has them for $3.99 and some other places. Uh, they have them all over Target. Maybe one day Target will put them on clearance, but I don't know. So anyway, this is 2014. The set came out last year. Thanks for watching this review. And I'm going to part out the 10 I got of this. Thanks for watching. This is Briggsworth.